All right, guys, now we have set up um, everything. If you look at this gulp file, if you try to read the code, it says that this code is taking whatever is written inside this folder. This folder is SCSS. Whatever is written inside this folder that ends with .scss, example, custom.scss, it's watching it. You understand? So it takes it, comp compiles it, and dumps it where? Look at the destination, CSS. Look at CSS. Inside this CSS folder, it will dump it there with the same name. So if this one is named custom.scss, once we edit it, it will uh, be created. Custom.css will be created here. All right? And that dumped here, right? So that's just it. Then uh, this particular line is the one that is watching it. This is the one that does the compilation. This is the one that watches it. It watches um, this folder for any change, all right? Once there's any change, it will run this this code. And this uh, this code is this this task. Look at the task here. All right. So that's it. that's just basically what this. Uh, uh, code piece of code work does but the way it works is actually magical so let us see um now we've done this if you go to your node modules and scroll all the way down to all the way down to bootstrap note that um your own node modules may not contain all these folders you understand so it may not have all these folders uh, don't worry scroll down to bootstrap click on bootstrap then click on scss then we're looking for variables dot scss uh, underscore variables look at the file we're looking for if you open this file what you will notice is that there is already this is where bootstrap this uh, uh, kind of describes all the variables you understand look at same color for instance look at all the colors there is a variable here then if you look here look at the primary primary is blue if you go up you see where they describe the blue color if you keep going up you see this is the color for blue look at the color for blue so in case you're you're designing your site and you you feel that this is not the uh, appropriate color for blue for you you can come here and change it and it will reflect but this is not the file where you have to change it all right so what really happens is um let's start first so open your your command prompt and then uh, run gulp first just type gulp to start with and chill um, so gulp is going to recreate a file and gulp is going to dump something here so you see it has um, run the build theme pack and whatever and stopped after 31 microseconds so this is what happened so if we come here we'll see that um it just ran this code here now we need it to we need to run this code you get what i'm saying we need to run this code so um to do that uh, if we run this code then go will not stop running it will just keep listening for changes so if we come and do uh go watch enter it wouldn't stop again it will just permanently keep uh, looking for changes listening for changes you see it doesn't stop so now it's running it like it's running like a server all right now what we're gonna do is to come here and start working so gop has created this file custom.mean and created custom.css now the next thing we're going to do if you open this custom.css you see that there's a whole bunch of code inside exactly what we saw inside um, the variables inside the node modules variables exactly if you compare the two of them see that they look they are exactly so go basically copied this file and created a copy of it for us here all right so good so far so good now uh, we can start playing around with stuff let's say for instance uh, if we look at our platform we can see that uh, this is red button and this red button is danger all right um if i should open it sign up for we'll open index and control f sign up 
So you see this button is BTN Danger. So we can generally change the color of Danger. You know, Danger is um, red, but if we come to our custom.css, here we can play around with the color of Danger. Uh, look at Danger, and it's red. We can change it to something lighter. So let's change it. It, it wouldn't reflect now, but I'll show you why. So let's say this is what we choose a, a darker red if we refresh nothing will happen there's a reason uh i'll show you but if you come here you see that our gulp is watching for that now um what we're gonna do for it to reflect is that if we go if we go to our index you will see that this index.html isn't using this css file that is generated here look at the css file it's using it's still using the css file from bootstrap cdn so this is bootstrap cdn is still using the css file uh, the first one is um, bootstrap 4.1 css the second one is font awesome third one is our custom style that we created in the beginning so let us remove bootstrap css uh, if you're using visual studio code like me you have to press control on your keyboard then press and press um, the question mark key or forward slash key on your keyboard i'm holding control forward slash it has commented it out otherwise you can completely delete yours then we come here and start writing code link uh, rel style sheet and then we can do href now here is where the main thing is so from href we're going to instead of referencing the, the one online we're going to reference this custom.css so we're going to do css custom.css cool and the rest is easy <clears throat> now that is sorted we're now making use of this css let us go <clears throat> and check so keep your eye on this button i refresh see the color has changed to lighter you may not have observed it but i can try adjusting the color again if we come here and go to danger where is it you can do some choose something that is white um i'm sorry that didn't work but what we're going to look for is actually um this button sign up we're going to look for this class and modify it look at the class btn danger so if we come to um our custom.css we can search for btn danger you see btn danger the color of the text is white but the background color is red so if we change it to something like this and save and come here and refresh you see it has changed now we have to deal with the border color you see then we can change the border color look at the border color so basically you can change a lot of things but this is not the place to do it you understand you're basically uh, this is just the end product you're supposed to do it inside your scss file